Time for another morning hog. Uh, time for another morning hog brew review. Josh Messar Parat is bringing us the flavors of Oktoberfest right here in August. Get ready and drink up. It's the morning hog brew review on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog, the morning hog. Beer shirt Friday. It must uh, be time for a morning hog brew review. Josh from SR Parat's right over there. Woof. Josh, I barely got through the intro. So we were so excited. <laughs> excited. During the show this morning. Oh, Steve's like, over here too, by the way. Yeah, Steve, oh, Steve's there. Yeah, Steve. Steve. Uh, we're like, oh, Josh is coming. Josh is coming. And Steve was like, I wonder what beers he's bringing. I'm like, yeah, it's Oktoberfest. That's all we know. Right. Right? And it's not Oktoberfest yet, but it kind of is. Right. It so, lasts for months. Yeah, so we had a couple last show. Yeah. Uh, those were more fall beers and then happened to have an Oktoberfest slide in there. Okay. Um, these are all Oktoberfest beers. And then we'll have some later down the road as they come in as well. But Correct. these are the ones that are in stock, ready to go today. You'll find like them it. in the retailers. So I figured let's talk about them now. I like it. I like where you're going. And in this first uh, only can representation right. is one of my favorite breweries. Mine too. Yeah. And, I mean, look at the can. It is a cool looking can. Let's, look, <laughs> let's, let's all I just mean, admire the can of Sierra Go to the YouTube Nevada. channel. Yep. Check it out. Look That's at the can. awesome right. looking. That's right. The Morning Hog on YouTube. Check it. Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada. Mm. This beer mm. was not around mm. last year. Really? They really? Tried I don't a different it. seasonal last year. I don't remember it. Okay. Um, and they're like, everybody's like, bring back Oktoberfest, please. Yeah. So they're like, you know what? We'll go ahead and do that for you. Sweet. That's why I got the polka music going. I'm not mad. Oh, oh. Uh, mm. So this is actually a uh, collaboration brew. Okay. Really? With a German brewery. Okay. Called Uh-oh. Gerwider? <laughs> All right. Well, Gerwider? Yeah. Show me Gerwider. Yeah. That's correct. All right. K-E-H-R-W-I-E-D-E-R. Call Cur- in and if you know it's how it's pro- It's probably Kurveder. Okay. Because yeah. the no W is pronounced with a V. Like Windows? <laughs> yeah. To the wall? Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh. So, yeah. Okay, so, so, like I said, Oktoberfest mm. from Sierra was not mm. around last year. They brought it back this year. Collaboration brew uh, with this German brewery. 6% alcohol. So, they're calling Ooh. this... This isn't technically a what uh, they call a Martzen lager, which is yeah. usually what an Oktoberfest. They're calling right. this a fest beer. I was just going to ask beer. you what kind of beer this is. Cause so, they're calling it a fest beer. So, it's still going to have those classic uh, flavors that you're used to for your Oktoberfest okay. beers. Very, very light hint of malt. Like a very, you get it on the end. A whisper? The sweetness of what it. What would that sound like, Steve, if you were to uh, translate it into sound? What would the whisper of malt sound like? On this one? Yeah. yeah. Ever so lightly sweet. I don't like that thought. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't ask him to yeah, do that. that. Yeah, yeah, sorry, job. Josh. I apologize, Josh. I got weird. Okay. Uh, but the beer's really good. And, you know, Sierra Nevada, known for their hoppy IPA, their p- punch in the tongue, kind of good hop. But this is a great diversion. Uh, yeah, it's a nice balance between the two. Um, it is a, a little bit hoppier than your typical Oktoberfest beer. Fest beer. Right. Um, but the, the malt's still there, so nicely balanced. Really good. Mm. Killer mm. collaboration. Uh, these are available in six packs and twelve packs right now. Really, they are in the market. Go oh, get hmm. them. Oh, chase it! Uh, where can I find them? You might say to yourself, "Well, you can go to srprod.com slash beer finder. That's where you'll find them. Easy, easy to track down." Uh, okay, I'm going to get those. That's really good. Maybe I'll get the next beer too. Holy What's next? Mackerel. You want to grab the next one too? I want to. I'm ready for it. Oof, let's try it. So our friends uh, over at Yingling. Oh, hi Yingling. It's a twist off, by the way. Up there in Pennsylvania, representing the state Twist of Pennsylvania. Where we, listen, we're very close to football season, so Pennsylvania about to be dead to mm. me. But right now, <laughs> right. right now it's still good because Yingling's repping. You did see those Kelly Green though, right? That's right. <laughs> That's look, how, cool. look how dark, <laughs> look how much darker that one is from the last. Oh, so this is a classic. Ooh, Martin, Martin, however you want. To okay, um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try I'm gonna to drink it. That's what I'm gonna do. So this one ABV is a little bit lower, uh, five point three percent. Okay. Oh, I like this. I like this because it, it has a little bit more zest on the back than that smooth marts and some of those that kind of dissipate Ooh. and sticks around. So it's always cool to see uh, when American mm. breweries do German-style beers, mm-hmm. uh, especially ones that are so wow. embedded Yingling. in the culture. I can still say Yingling. That's really Yingling good. Yingling is actually good. German, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Um, America's oldest brewery. Right. Uh, but this is a limited time only. Seasonal beer. Really? You'll see it out there. Ugh. It'll be gone. Okay. So go get it while you can get it. Right. I believe this is also six packs and full packs as well. Really? Okay. Okay. So, again. Super, super good. You can go to srprod.com slash beer finder and find it. But, you know, just go to your, just go shopping. 
You go beer shopping. It's Friday. You go beer shopping. Put on your beer shirt and go get some. You can always go to a place like Total Wine and pick up singles of all these. Give them a shot just like we are today. That's a great idea. Yeah, we encourage you to uh, you know drink along with the Morning Hog Brew Review, even if you don't have the right beers. It's still okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, but always expand your horizons. Yeah, you know? if you're not sure, grab one of those singles out there. If you don't like it, worst case is you can waste two, three dollars. Yeah, you try one. You know? Yeah, it's yeah, it's still it'll, save it for Steve. He'll come. Well, I'll tell you up. what, especially if it's can, he'll come get what. it so yeah. he can recycle he'll, he'll it. He'll make a candle out of it. Five cents. Yeah, I mean, you can even buy the six pack. It's okay. You can give all five of the rest to us. <laughs> <laughs> the morning. Oh, you talk about the morning hog beer exchange. Yeah, yeah where exactly. you bring the beers and we give you like Steve gives you a high five, five, love, high five, encouragement, a rag from his garage, something, a hand something. wave through the window. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hey, all right. Yeah. Thanks for the beers. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so this is, uh, uh, again, always limited, obviously, October right. Fest. And sadly, it can't go 12 months out of the year. In theory, it could. <laughs> yeah. It's only, what, four at this right. point, October right. Fest. Uh, so uh, mm. as we sneak closer to October, go try these flavors. Uh, we're going to try more flavors right after the break. Yeah. Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. Chop, chop. Morning Hog Brew Review. It's already going. You know, we're in the midst of this Oktoberfest primer. Once again, Josh from SR Prod has brought us some great flavors for us to enjoy on this Friday. Get ready for the weekend or get ready for October or heck, get ready for September. Hey, get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, there's a whole month in here. Yeah, you really don't need to limit yourself. <laughs> uh, SRProd.com slash beer finder, though, if you want to track these beers down. We found two of them. We have two more to find. We do. So we have a couple of the OGs, right? Okay. Classic German breweries. Okay. You see these breweries out there at the Oktoberfest event. That right. happens out there. Um, we're going to start off with Hofbrau. Okay. I like Hofbrau. Hofbrau. Can I tell my Hofbrau story? I, I'd love to. Do it. So Hofbrau's got a, uh, a, a brewery in Cincinnati. Hmm. And I went to it, and I had really? a flight of their beers and pretzels. It is so good. How were the pretzels? They were really good. I dipped them in the beer. I don't know if that's inappropriate, but I did it. So this is another fest style beer. If you notice, mm. these fest style beers are a little bit lighter. The yes. ABV on it's a little uh, it's supposed to be a little bit lower. Um, this one's six point three percent, so that kind oh. of goes oh, against right. what okay. I said. But uh, <laughs> usually, that's the though. theory. Yeah. yeah. Well, is it? Are they normally supposed to be you know lighter and uh, uh, flavor and all that stuff and ABV so you can just drink? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, put it on cruise control and yeah. just go. Yeah, March and Lagers okay. tend to have a higher ABV right around that 6.2, yeah. 6.3%. Um, obviously, a little bit heavier beer with that roasted malt, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, whereas the Fest beer is supposed to be a little bit lighter. Still the same flavors, but lighter. Uh, ooh. So I call that's them, what we have ooh. here. I call them user-friendly beers mm. because as the beer user, you can continue to use the beer until you're finished using mm. it. Almost has like a honey. honey yeah, malt. it does. Honey, it in does. There. Not, not, I'm not, digging I mean, that. Sweet, but not sweet. I would right. imply that it's sweet on the finish. Yeah. So the, instead of getting like a caramel flavor from the malt, you're getting mm-hmm. more of a honey. So it's not nearly as roasted. Yeah. Uh, but still getting some of those sugars from the malt. Really nicely. Again, really nicely balanced. Yeah. Listen to my voice after it too. It sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Oh yeah. I mean, my voice has got more rich. Why and, are you uh, adjusting the board? Oh. <clears throat> I wouldn't <laughs> say that. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> no, it's good. The, the beer's really good too. Yeah. 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 It's, it's hell. I mean, it's good for you. Let's face it. This is what Oktoberfest is all about, enriching yourself. You know, and like I said, these are the breweries that have been doing it forever, so they know how to do it. These right. are the classic flavors that everyone's trying to emulate in America, yeah. which I think we are doing a fantastic job of doing. Right. But still. Yeah. They're the OG. I just appreciate Hofbrau because I can pronounce it. You know, there are a lot of those German breweries. You can't pronounce their name. Like, yeah, like, like the a, one that did the uh, like collaboration a, with. Yeah, there's like an umlaut. A, there's like a seven and a hashtag. I don't even know what it, how to pronounce it. Hopperow, I got it. <laughs> right? It's like Motley Crue. I can pronounce that easily. Uh, all right. Is oh, that how you pronounce that? Yeah, yeah Motley Crue, as it turns out. Yeah, it's a German. German band. All right. One more beer. Sadly, but not sadly, because it's a it's a classic. It is a classic. Polliner. I can also Polliner. pronounce that. Polliner. 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 I'm find out I've been saying that wrong. Oh, not Paul, really. Paul Anner? Okay, all right. I want to make sure I've had that. So this is that classic style Martin Lager again. Okay. 5.8% mm. alcohol. It's Josh's sweet spot, the Martins. I believe this beer was developed from Paul Anner over 200 years ago. Really? Which is just absurd. Oh. The brewery has been around since 1634. 1634. Wow. I mean. Dang. Yeah. Steve would. Steve is a historian. I hate history, and I didn't do well in it in school. Steve knows his history. Steve, will you give us a fun fact about six, the 1630s in general? 
All right. Just a general knowledge about that decade. The cotton gin was recently invented. Hmm. Mm. That was incorrect. Uh, yeah. not, even, not even close. Eli Whitney invented that in the 1900s. But not bad, though. I mean, I think it's what, I don't know what's, about that. what Steve's saying is, you know, there's history is just a little moment in time, as is this beer. Right. Right? So Damn I, good. I, don't, I know we talked about last year, but for anyone that doesn't know, Martin style or Martin lager means March, March beer. Okay. Uh, typically, that's when they would start brewing these beers. Okay. In preparation for the Oktoberfest event. Okay. That's how long it would take for them to how many months is that? Lager out. Uh, more than six. Yeah, it's like sixish. Yeah, it's like a gestation period, like a baby. It's like they they conceived a baby in March, and it bursts in October. <laughs> Burst? Somehow to think about it. Yeah. Uh, but that, but it's very. Uh, <laughs> So it has that time, and did they used to like bury these in the in the bowels of the earth? Maybe. Yeah, in the 1600s, they did weird yeah. stuff. You know, these days they just make the beer and you drink it. Right. It's way easier. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks, modern mm. conveniences. And Polliner, it's not like Polliner's doing a lot of other stuff, right? They do quite. Uh, they're starting to branch out and get into some really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, not necessarily everything over here we carry, mm-hmm. uh, but if you were to go over to Germany and check out the brewery, they have a lot of cool stuff going on. They're doing Rattlers. Yeah. Um, F and Ys and stuff like that. Really? Uh, okay. So they, they got some options. Steve, do you have any uh, German stories from uh, Paul Warner that you'd like to share with us now? I don't think he has any. No. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we'll edit those in later. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this, obviously, this beer, even though it's seasonal. So that's Uh-oh. why I said something earlier Uh-oh. about the Polliner Oktoberfest Martin Lager is available year round. Whoa! Right. Really? It's such a popular really? beer that we carry it year-round. So, still go try it. But it is available. So, if you see it out there in March, don't think it's <laughs> out of date or not good or anything right. like that. It is year-round, so it is still good to go. I love um, that. Most of these beers hold for quite some time, obviously, okay. if they're, they're brewing it early on and, and let it go. Okay. Uh, so, you know. Okay. I mean, actually, Paul Winter, you're getting you're getting extra credit today for giving us 12 months of this. That's right. uh, you can find it at srprod.com slash beer finder as well if you want to chase that down. Easy to find. Or we'll give out Josh's cell number right here. Yep. Right on the bottom of the screen there. We'll just give yeah, it. That goes to my secretary. The graphics is not working, but we'll get that in later, and then Josh will answer your questions. Or, or you can call Steve. We'll give out Steve's number. Hold on. Don't don't show my – wait. He don't, doesn't have a don't, phone, does he? Don't, he don't show he, that well, number. We, they gave him a phone. Yeah, it's a flip phone. <laughs> It's a razor. Uh, well, listen, thank you very much for getting us ready for October. Absolutely. I know it'll be more. Oh, there is, there's more coming. Uh-oh. Look out. Football there's season's coming. coming, too. Boy, we, we got oh, we got some trash talking to do Go pretty Hawks. soon. Uh-oh. Uh, cheers until next time around. Morning cheers. Dog Brew Review. Thanks, SR Parade.